All right, this is Brother Isa Yar coming at you with a video real quick because I'm out of jail, finally. <laughs> uh, not real jail, but YouTube jail. But before I speak, uh, let me just say, call Halayim Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekakwadash. Double honest to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honest to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the Akwath that's listening and learning. Um, pretty much my channel got a strike because I was speaking about the syringes that's supposed to save humanity. <laughs> and uh, they was like, they're not having that, man. You know, they sent me the email and everything like that. And uh, they shut my channel down for a week. So now, you know, uh, going forward, I'm going to make sure I be more mindful of uh, my titles within, you know, the videos and so forth and so on, man. So then this won't happen again. Uh, I'm going to leave the link to my backup channel in the description box so you all can subscribe to that just in case this happens again. And, you know, um, just in case you be like, oh, man, you know, haven't uploaded a video in a while, but you'll see the videos being uploaded on the other channel that like that can let you know that uh something happened to my original channel all right and um it's just funny man because um as soon as my channel got a strike that's when uh a, a, a lot of brothers channels just got struck struck and struck down out of nowhere man uh apostles and hard channel got a strike um uh elder kazak his his channel uh got a strike or something like that and i seen a whole lot of other brothers man and like all at the same time man i'm just like damn look at this you know, but um, that's just letting you know, man, feminine of the word is coming, man. Feminine of the word is coming, and this is why, you know, we're supposed to be on fire pushing this truth forward as much as we possibly can, man, because we know we are at the end. We got to get as much information out there as possible so we can wake up the elect, man, because that's about to be a great awakening as far as the elect, you know? It's going to be a lot of Israelites who are about to wake up at the last minute, so we got to make sure we keep feeding and keep feeding and keep feeding, man, all right? But any, it, it just feel good to finally just upload. I ain't gonna lie, you know, been doing these lessons and everything like that all week. And I'm just like, damn, you know, I can't upload it on my main channel and everything like that. But it's cool, you know, and still do what you got to do, man. You still got to do the work. So I'm just going to get a few scriptures real quick. I'm going to get 2 Timothy 2 and 9. It says, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of the Most High is not bound. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Hamashiach, Yahawashai, with eternal glory. So this is one of the reasons why we do it, man. This is one of the reasons why we do this work. It's for the elect's sake. We got to do this work for our own salvation as well. But at the end of the day, man, we got to do this for the elect, man. Because the only way that we can get up out of here is if the elect is sealed. Like it says in Revelation, man, don't hurt the earth, the sea, nor the lands. Until the, the uh his servants are sealed, man. So we gotta keep doing the work so the elect can get this knowledge and we can get the fuck up out of here, man. Because uh Jacob's trouble is coming around, man. It's it's coming quick, man. Operation War Speed is getting ready to happen. They talking about uh using the military to force this thing on Jake within 24 hours, man. 24 hours within the whole world. 24 hours, man. They getting ready to use the military to push this great wrath that is to come, man. So we got to make sure we in the spirit. We got to make sure we in the right mind state so then we won't buckle down, man. You know, we trying to make sure we can look Esau in the eye and tell him, hell no, we're not doing anything that you say that's going against these scriptures, man. All right. So let's get um, <clears throat> Sirach 20 and 31. Hold on, here. Let me put up my, pull up my, um, my other Bible on the app. All right, this is Sirach 20 and 31, 20 and 31. And it says, better is he that hideth his folly than a man that hideth his wisdom. Necessary patience is sinking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. So, you know, get a strike on your channel, man, like I just did, and or something is going through, something that you're going through personally in life, or whatever that might be a setback. Hey, man, you still patiently wait on the Lord. You still endure everything patiently, man. You still got to uh, be clear-minded, you know, be sober. Like the scriptures say, man. And it says, better is he that hide his folly than the man that hide his wisdom. So we all have this great knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man, which is the greatest gift of all time. 
So we're not supposed to hide it. We're supposed to have our light uh, shine up upon the housetops, like the scriptures say, man. You know, we're supposed to let everybody know that we know something. All right. We know a way to get away from this wrath that is to come. We know a way for you Israelites, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. We know a way for you to be saved. All right. So that's the thing that we got to always remember, man. Be patient within the Lord. Wait on the Lord and he shall grant you with great and major things, man. And that, you know, and that's just to the point, you know, necessary patience in seeking the Lord is better than he that leaveth his, leadeth his life without a guide. But that's what two-thirds are, man. They are leading a life without a guy, man. They're looking up to Joe Biden and uh their their governors and their their uh their mayors or whatever to make differences within their neighborhoods and everything like that so they can live a better life. But we're looking for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah so we can live a better and eternal life, man. We're not worried about the things here in this world. We just want to go ahead, have this great wrath happen, and get up out of here. And Yahweh Ratazah. We're part of that uh that great number, man. The elect that's gonna be in those chariots. We want to get beamed into the chariots, man. All right. We want to be part of the first uh resurrection, man. So I'm gonna get this last scripture right here. Revelation two and ten. And it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So we have to have this faith built within us right now, man, because we can't just automatically say or have the, the spirit to be like, okay, I'm going to have the faith as soon as this uh, place goes down. No, nah, man, you got to build your faith up now so you can be prepared for Jacob's trouble. All right? You can't just have the spirit come upon you out of nowhere, man. And, and that's only if Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah wants to give you that spirit within those days anyway, man. You know, this is why we say we 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 are part of the hopeful elect because um we don't know. We are prisoners of hope, man. So at the end of the day, man, you have to do what you have to do that is necessary for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah to choose you. Okay? He came, he called you into this thing. Now he have to, you have to work out your salvation, man. You have to see if you're uh, worthy enough to be written in the book of life, man. Because we don't know who's written in there, but the Most High does, man. And we want to make sure that our, our names are in there. So the only way that we can make sure that our names are in that book is we got to continue to do this work no matter what happens to you in your daily life, man. Because we all already know at the end of the day, you know, Satan is going to do whatever he got to do, you know, saying to make sure that he tries his best to get you to fall out of this truth or to not to acknowledge uh, who we really are, which are Israelites. We are Israelites, man. All right. We are not Negroes. We're not Latinos. We're not Native Americans. We're not black. We're not Mexican. We're not none of that shit, man. We are the chosen people of the Lord, man. And that's a blessing, man. And that's the thing that we always got to remember. And we got to remember that our time is next. Our time is next. Second address, man. Esau's the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. We got next, man. So no matter what happens in your daily life, man, do never, never, not never, <laughs> never, not never put this truth in the back, man. Never push it to the back, man. Always do what you got to do. Because at the end of the day, as long as you show the most high that you worthy enough to be beamed on that chariot, as long as you stay on fire within this truth, and as long as you acknowledge what's really going on and not be a fucking nigga or idiot in these streets, Lord willing, man, Yahweh Rock, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah is going to protect you, man. He's going to send the angels down here to protect you during this great wrath, and you're going to be all good, man. Keep that faith until the end, man. So I'm, I'm happy to be back, man. So I'm going to, you know, upload this video immediately. And then after that, man, we're going to keep it rolling, man. Shalom to all the brothers out there, man. And Yahweh Rod says, I'll be back with another video. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Shalom.